Welcome to the newest conversion of an old county road to modernize city street that was 20 years in the making. Good morning, everybody. Back in 2014, when I was running for mayor for the first time, I received a call from a young high school student that was just learning how to drive. She was concerned about the condition of this road, especially during winter time, and asked if I could have it improved by her 16th birthday. I explained to her that road projects take time, but when I became mayor, this road project would be a top priority for me. Now, six years later, we have finally reached that point of accomplishment. Abraham Lincoln said, commitment is what transform a promise into a reality. When I became mayor, I received a review of Public Works prioritized projects. Surprisingly to me, that the multi-million dollar roundabout just to the north of here was a higher priority and there were not enough financial resources for Archer Elevator Road. Public Works engineer, now director, Nate Bottom, assured me the best approach was to build the roundabout first because it goes a quarter of a mile each direction. And in the long run, people would like the roundabout. Thanks to director Nate Bottom's commitment or him being tired of me chirping about Archer Elevator, he was able to leverage city funds with federal and state resources to bring us to today's promised reality. Of course, humble Nate Bottom would not come up to speak, but along with me, we would like to thank and express our gratitude to our United States and Illinois Department of Transportation partners, especially Jeff Myers and Chris Isbell of IDOT Region 4, Senator McClure and Representative Murphy, thank you for your commitment to Springfield, Crawford Murphy and Tilly Engineers, United Contractors Midwest, all the public and private workers, and most importantly, the taxpayers that had the commitment to make this transformational project a reality. From the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of everyone, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Over the decades of bringing this transformational project to reality and many other projects like the 11th Street extension that connects up to UIS, Stanford Street extension becoming an east-west corridor, the widening of Wabash, and many others, there has been one strong, resounding Springfield voice in Washington, D.C., and that is Senator Dick Durbin, who has never forgotten his roots here in Springfield. We thank you, Senator Durbin, for your leadership in helping and fulfilling Springfield's needs to build a better future. Senator Durbin. Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks to Mayor Langfelder and I, all those who have gathered behind me here, especially my federal colleague, Darren LaHood, for coming out here today. This is a $5.2 million project. 1.4 million came from the federal government, a program known as the FAST program. It's an effort by us in Washington to make sure the money comes home. The people living in these homes here paid their federal income tax and they'd like to see something for it. Well, they're going to see quite a bit in terms of this investment, because when you look at this road today and you think to yourself, why would we need this grand a road for a cornfield? Well, the reality is it's not going to be a cornfield very long. The day will come when there'll be people living in this area and using this road, not just to get to the YMCA, but get back and forth to school and to work every single day. This is the kind of long-term investment which builds a city, to look ahead, to think ahead. And I'm happy to be part of it today. I want to thank all those who gathered uh, in this effort. And I want to especially thank Mayor Langfelder for his leadership on this. We have a lot more to do. We're going to do the work in Washington to make sure that happens. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator Durbin. Through the decades, Springfield is blessed to have another constant in Washington that stand tall in the shadow of Lincoln's servant leadership, and that is Congressman Darren LaHood's family. Like his father, Congressman LaHood exemplifies and takes to heart my favorite Lincoln quote of government of the people, by the people, 
for the people. We thank you, Congressman LaHood, for your servant leadership to help make Springfield a better place, especially with our west side expansion projects that also includes Abraham Lincoln Capitol Airport. Congressman LaHood. Well, thank you, Mayor Langfelder, and I want to uh, join my colleagues here and Senator Durbin and Mayor and uh, the others here and Alderman Ralph Hanauer for uh, the hard work and the collaboration that went into this project being done today. Uh, and you think about uh, the money that's invested here today and what that will do for safety, what it'll do for traffic flow, what it'll do for development, uh, and what it'll do for uh, people being able to access this area with bike lanes and other things. Uh, this is a, an effort that was done by uh, many different people here today. And so I want to thank the city of Springfield, our state rep uh, and state senator, and uh, Senator Durbin and others uh, for the help in doing this. And you think about uh, the west side of Springfield here, whether it's the YMCA, whether it's Concordian Village, whether it's Rotary Park, uh, whether it's the new subdivisions out here. And having good infrastructure uh, helps uh, to enhance all of that. And so uh, proud to be here today to support this project uh, and to support the city of Springfield and look forward uh, to continue to have collaboration. When you have good infrastructure and you invest the right way, good things follow. And we're seeing that here today. So um, again, happy to be a part of this. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you, uh, Congressman LaHood. We really appreciate your leadership. This project also points out what can be done when you don't worry about who gets the credit and all about, for me, humble beginnings. And for our family, uh, our true humble beginnings began with a engineering firm, a local engineering firm of Crawford, Murphy and Tilly. At that time, they were located, uh, believe it or not, on South Grand near, uh, I think it was State Street. And I you know, used to go over there and visit my father who was an engineer there. And uh, they know, never lost sight of serving people because in the end, that's what it's all about. How can we improve people's lives and make our community better? And we are truly blessed to have Crawford Murphy Tilly as one of our engineering partners in the city of Springfield. And we'd like to thank project manager Kristen Timmons and ask her to come up and say a few words. Kristen. Thanks, Mayor. Crawford Murphy and Tilly is extremely pleased to have been able to work with the city of Springfield and IDOT over the years on this project. It's been a, um, a labor of love for me. I've been working on it for 15 years, so I'm, I'm glad to see it finally uh, completed. And um, again, we are grateful to work on the corridor and you know be able to provide the access for vehicles, pedestrians, bicycles, um, to access the YMCA, Rotary Park, and the Concordia Village and all the neighborhoods around here. So again, uh, we're grateful to work on this project and looking forward to working with the city of Springfield in the future. Thank you very much. You know, uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, you know, I talked about my father's roots. It started, uh, he became an engineer and then was elected streets commissioner. And that's how we got involved with uh, government is going door to door walking. And then we had a change of government, you know, to a new form of government, which is the aldermanic form of government and is a better representation of people because they do talk to their aldermen, right? <laughs> aldermen. And so one thing that's never changed is traffic concerns for Ward 10 in the West Side. And so this is a welcome project to make that happen. And we really appreciate uh, Alderman Hanauer being here. And he gets teased a lot because when that roundabout first opened, he took a lot of grief. People even nicknamed it the Ralph about. And uh, really this comes to fruition of what our diligence and not wavering and we fulfill our obligations and making Springfield better. And we thank Alderman Hanauer uh, for making this project and your participation in being a voice for the Ward, 1 res or Ward 10 residents. So Alderman Hanauer, if you'd like to come up, say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Um, First of all, uh, I want to I want to welcome everybody to Bernie's last ribbon cutting. Uh, as you know, Bernie's leaving, so it's his last ribbon cutting. So um, I just want to say thank you to uh, to Senator Durbin and uh, or Congressman LaHood for their support on this project. 
Nate and his staff, um, uh, the, uh, our, our legislators, Senator McClure and Representative Murphy for their support. This has been a, a 25 years in the making. This road was a terrible road. If it's almost fitting that it's, it looks like it's gonna snow because this is when it was at its worst. Uh, you couldn't tell where the ditches are, so this will be a lot safer. And uh, another great, great uh, north-south road to travel on out here. Uh, Mayor, I am not done with roads out here though. I do have uh, a few more that need to get done, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But thank you all for coming and, and Bernie, good luck to you. Thank you, Alderman. Yeah, there, we've uh, started other road projects, overlay projects and uh, Linhart Road and a few others here. And then Nate Bottom assured me that next year, this isn't finished. There's also a two inch layer that's gonna go over the top of it. So uh, we are going to open it up for, drive, uh, for drivers, but uh, we'll have an overlay uh, next spring as well. And we would like to thank uh, Bernie Schoenberg. He's been uh, following city government for a long time and uh, you know, true representation of media and what it's all about. So thank you, Bernie, for uh, your unbiased reporting. We really appreciate it. No matter how scathing an article you might write or how glowing it is, we really appreciate uh, your point of view and reporting the facts. And uh, thank you for what you've done through the years. And that's a, yep. And really, uh, with all media, it's very important in today's day and age, you know, people are, you know, in their homes. It's important that media does uh, do responsible coverage uh, because we are uh, living in that realm of social media. And we really thank our print, our radio, and our television uh, advocates that really report uh, the news and give the perspective of what's happening in our communities, wherever that might be. Last but not least, I'd like to, uh, you know, uh, wrap it up by that young driver. That young driver, hold on a second, if you'd indulge me. That young driver is now 21 years of age. And uh, I looked up, you know, I, I was looking through my messages and I actually received a text message from January 20th, 2016. And it reads, hello, Uncle Jimmy. As a concerned citizen and a first year driver in, a, in the snow, I like really like to have my road plowed. Please and thank you. So she remembers her ple uh, P's and Q's, but it shows that the road is opened up, but public works still, their work continues and uh, it goes on from here. But I would ask my niece to come up, uh, Julia Frever, or I'm sorry, that's my sister, Julia Frever. <laughs> my niece is Julia Langfelder. My uncle, or my uh, brother, Josh Langfelder, is county recorder. I should recognize him as well. We appreciate everybody being here and taking part in this ribbon cutting. And uh, thank you for this great project that will move Springfield forward. It will help anchor the YMCA for future development. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hey! hey. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Julia, get in your car. Take the first lap. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Ralph. Thank you.